Hello there, YouTube. It's your favorite lad, B3. Back with another kicking graphic novel review. Today we are looking at the first volume of Chip Zdarsky and Daredevil. The next chapter in the ever-surviving saga of Daredevil. We're going to call it Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky, Volume 1, No Fear. That's K-N-O-W. Kano fear <laughs> Anyways, after a brush with death, Matt Murdock must piece together his shattered life, and that includes returning to action as Daredevil. But years of trauma have taken their toll, and becoming the guardian of Hell's Kitchen he once was won't be easy. Mistakes were made along the way, and this time one might actually prove to be the end of him. Because when a criminal dies and Daredevil takes the blame, Matt must go on the run in a desperate bid to clear his name. But even he can't outrun judgment forever, and with Daredevil's absence from Hell's Kitchen, the real devils can come out to play. Collecting Daredevil 2019 1-5 by Chip Zdarsky, Marco Chichito, and Sonny Go. Rated T for Teen Pretty cool. So this whole run on Daredevil kind of tackles one of my favorite uh, themes. You know, like, what is justice? Uh, is the law always right? You know, does the system work? That's one of my favorite themes, you know, like in Zetman and all this other stuff. And also, Marvel's street-level stuff is always my favorite Marvel stuff. I'm not as big into Marvel's larger-than-life heroes. I typically go to DC for that, but when it comes to street-level, Marvel is uh, where it's at. I feel like, you know. So Matt Murdock, Daredevil, is recovering from an injury. He's popping pain pills. We can see lots of flashbacks of his life and how the father of his church, uh, you know, gives him advice, advice from his dad. And we have this, uh, this brand new character. He's come from Chicago. <laughs> He's from Chicago. Detective Cole North. A great character. He's super by the books. You know, he wants to bring in all these vigilantes. He wants it done right. Uh, he hates dirty cops. He'll report a cop for anything, and he truly believes he's doing the right thing, but he seems to be in New York because of a mistake in his past, which we will eventually learn about. We see him hassle some cops, you know. We see Matt Murdock go back out as Daredevil for the first time in a long time, letting himself be seen running across rooftops, and he stops a liquor store robbery and really just gets the snot absolutely beat out of him. He's not ready to be back out on the street yet. It's just like three common crooks that haven't even really robbed anything before. They're just kind of doing it out of desperation, and they really, really give him the beat down. He barely gets out of it. The police show up, chase him around. The business he's trying to protect catches fire and burns down. He really just does not absolutely terrible, terrible job. And at the issue's end, we find out that one of the guys he fought and knocked out is dead, has died from the fight with Daredevil. So I'm going to refer to it as murder uh, for the rest of this review and for the reviews of the rest of this run, because I have read the whole thing multiple times. It's fantastic. And uh, I'll refer to it as murder, but it's really manslaughter, since it was more accidental. There's a little short story called Sense of Self, which like shows how Daredevil's senses are work for, work for him and everything. Just a little short story. It's like four pages. Really short, but really uh, effective. We get to see more Cole North. We get to see Foggy. Daredevil's trying to find out who has framed him for this murder. He can't seem to figure it out. It's not the Doctor. It's not Kingpin. You know, it's not Wilson Fisk. He, he doesn't seem to be able to find anyone who's set him up. He just can't figure out who done it. He gets into an altercation with police. He gets a shot. Uh, pretty, pretty crazy. And he's like running from Detective Cole North. And they catch him. They, they beat Daredevil. They have him handcuffed. They're slipping him into a squad car. He's got a bullet in him, uh, plus all his other injuries that he still hasn't recovered from. A lot of police officers don't want to arrest him because he saved them on many occasions. 
And then a mysterious figure saves Daredevil right before uh, he's about to go to prison. And uh-oh, it's the Punisher. And the Punisher thinks that Daredevil has intentionally started killing people. He thinks Daredevil's like him now. And I'm not the biggest Punisher fan. I kind of liked that uh, Punisher War Machine trade where he gets the War Machine armor from Nick Fury. I thought that was fun, but typically I think Punisher's kind of a fascist and I don't like him. <laughs> so I think he makes a good uh, like enemy for Daredevil. I really liked in Daredevil Season 2 when he fought the Punisher, but it's hard for me to root for the Punisher. I really like it when the Punisher is portrayed uh, like he is in this book here against the Daredevil. And we find out just how dangerous Daredevil really is. Uh, Frank Castle would even be willing to give up his life to turn Daredevil into someone like him, to turn Daredevil into a psychopath, because he knows Daredevil would be far, far more effective than he could ever be. And uh, Daredevil has to put on a Punisher shirt to go fight some crime. And the thing is, he doesn't know it's a Punisher shirt, because he can't see the design on the shirt you know he just sees it as a shirt he just sees it as any t-shirt and he goes to take out some of the owl's men because the owl you know the gangster the crime lord is getting cocky because they think daredevil's dead they think he's dead and he's whooping ass but then he starts to get his ass whooped luckily his friends show up the netflix defenders not the defender defenders <laughs> iron fist jessica jones luke cage they all show up to help him out, and he has to do it. He has to admit to himself what he's been running from, and that's just the fact that he accidentally killed someone. And, you know, his Catholic guilt is really getting to him. We see some more flashbacks. Spider-Man confronts him, which was pretty cool. There's a lot going on. And at the end of the trade, Matt Murdock gives up being Daredevil. Really wild in an absolutely incredible book. Soon we'll be reviewing Daredevil by Chip Skidarsky, Volume 2, No Devils, Only God. Uh, it's really good. I've read these multiple times. I love this run. At the time of recording this, the trade for the post-Devil's um, Reign stuff hasn't hit yet. It'll hit in a few months at the time of recording this. I'm recording this in uh, mid-October, and it comes out early February, February 7th, something like that. I'll be getting it then. Don't worry, I'll be getting it. And I'll be reviewing all the Devil's Reign stuff. I got that and pretty much all the tie-ins as well. So that's it. Thank you once again for your support. Definitely read Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky. I might give less details on future books when I review them just because I want you know to leave some stuff for you guys to see. It's got excellent dialogue. The art is really incredible. I, I just really like the art too. I like how gritty it is. But it can be colorful when it needs to be. It's good looking art. Excellent. But that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.